A few days ago, I began to realise that my mental health had begun to spiral. I am a fairly regular visitor to the Pit of Doom, but I also have a degree in psychology, and I have over the many years that I have had good and bad mental health found some very, very good ladders to get out of that Pit of Doom. They don't have much to do with scented candles and face masks, so I don't want to call this a mental health self-care day, but rather a mental health resuscitation day. I'm going to show you a bunch of different methods that I use to get myself out of a slump. They're pretty research-backed, and a lot of them physically change your brain chemistry. The first way that you can really easily change your brain chemistry is to look at sunlight first thing in the morning. You can't do this through a window, but it doesn't matter if there are clouds. So as long as your eyeballs are getting some sunlight, some UV light in them, as soon as you wake up, your brain chemistry will be changed. And I got myself some breakfast, absolutely nothing fancy. I was in the pit of despair, toast is good enough. Then I write out some affirmations which I'm going to use to combat negative thoughts and try and reground myself into a cognitive headspace that I actually want to be in. So I get quite afraid a lot of the time, so I write that I'm safe. And then whenever I get a fearful thought, I just, I'm like, I am safe. I am at ease in my surroundings and in myself. You know, affirmations work for di people different ways. I would not feel any better by saying to myself, I am perfect and nothing needs to change. But I do feel very comforted by thinking, I am a being of radiant light having a human experience. Like, I don't need to worry about making stupid mistakes and get stressed about it. I am a radiant being of light having a human experience. I probably signed up to this. It doesn't matter. So make your affirmations personal. So then I just stretch out, do a bit of yoga. I'm not going to be putting on fancy workout clothes. I'm in the pit of despair. It's not a long session. It's not fancy. But you know what? Once you start stretching your body out a bit, you stop feeling so stuck in it. So far, the motivation for today has been pretty lacking. Um, I'm kind of making my way through it. It's not going as well as I hoped. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and have a look at my vision board and I'm going to try and realign myself with who I want to be and realise that you know, who I want to be does certain things that I'm not doing now and, and doesn't do some of the things that I am doing. And hopefully that will kind of give me enough motivation to carry on with this. All because it is not even half nine in the morning yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it could be going better. So I was being pretty dramatic because I wanted to go out for a walk and it was raining so I couldn't. But looking at a vision board or doing anything which aligns you with your vision of your future or yourself or reminds you of your higher values is, I think, really helpful. Um, it gives you a lot of motivation to get out of the slump and it reminds you that there's something other than what is the sort of grey fog that's going on in front of your eyes right now. So I have a Pinterest board with images of you know, things I want to manifest and I find that really helpful. But any kind of book, song, character, speech that motivates you, you should definitely reconnect with. So after getting lost on Pinterest, um, I had a Scottish shower. So for a Scottish shower, you basically start off with hot water. Once you've warmed up, change the water to cold, stay under the cold water for kind of 10 to 30 seconds and then switch it back to hot and repeat this you know at least three or four times it basically exercises your capillaries because as you heat up they expand and move close to your skin and as you get cold they contract and move close to your organs 
And when you go between these uh, extremes rapidly and repeatedly, it makes you feel like you've had a shower inside your body. Cold water exposure is absolutely incredible for mental health. Uh, you get completely flushed with endorphins and adrenaline and it is a really quick and easy, make, easy way to make you feel absolutely amazing. Hi guys, welcome. This is a guy. The next thing is breath work. Breath work is another incredible way of changing your brain chemistry. You flood your system with oxygen, you change the way you respond to carbon dioxide and to nitrogen um, and if you go deep enough into it just can be almost like a psychedelic experience I really recommend doing breath work um, it takes like 15 minutes and it can just leave you in such an insanely different state all you did was breathe I mean the air is currently free and I think that we should make the most of that whilst we still can Next, I felt up for meditating. Now, just a quick disclaimer, I don't think you should be doing mindfulness meditation if you are having a mental health problem at the moment. I'm on a bit of a crusade against mindfulness meditation, um, and I've got a whole video out about it. But if you're having mental health problems, then do either heart math, where you breathe in for five seconds and out for five seconds and just focus on feeling love or happiness or gratitude in your heart center or go on youtube and put on a guided meditation there's loads of uh, really fantastic guided meditations and yeah don't don't let your mind run the show when your mind is very sick but a meditation where you focus on feeling good and not just observing your thoughts and feelings one where you actually make yourself feel better well it it, it it usually does help you feel better. <laughs> then I set a 20 minute timer and just clean my space up. Uh, there's really something magical about setting a 20 minute timer. It makes it feel a lot more doable for some reason. Um, and it's just always so much nicer to, to have a clean space. Then I went to the gym. Um, this was kind of in the evening after I'd had a bit of a rest, but weightlifting is one of the best ways to get another endorphin rush. Um, I know that going to the gym is going to be too much for some people. For me, it's my happy place. Um, and if you are able to do any kind of vigorous exercise, whatever that looks like, it is almost always going to help you mentally. I used to find that one of my barriers with going to the gym when I was having a bad mental health day was that I didn't want to show my body off. Um, there's absolutely no reason to have to wear shorts and a crop top to go to the gym. As you can see, I'm wearing kind of baggy joggers and a long sleeve top. So being completely covered up for me um, makes it feel a lot more accessible and a lot easier to go. So, since I'm still struggling with sleep, I decided to put on a sleep meditation. And I've got to say, the next day and the few days since, I've been feeling a lot better. All emotional and physical healing is supported by love, acceptance and forgiveness of yourself.